Record breaking. That's how an attorney describes the $7 million Idaho Springs will pay after a settlement was reached in a federal lawsuit against three of the city's officers. The lawsuit alleged Michael Clark's civil rights were violated last year after officers were seen on body camera tasing and then dragging him across the floor of his apartment complex. One of the officers involved was disciplined internally and then resigned last October. Another, Nicholas Hanning, was sentenced to two years probation after pleading guilty to misdemeanor assault back in December. Denver 7 CB Cotton has followed this case closely and reports how the family will be using the civil settlement. What do you want? Body camera video shows Michael Clark walked to his front door and in a matter of minutes was tased. Now, nearly a year and a half later, Good morning, everyone. his attorney and loved ones walked to a podium because they say Michael Clark can't. He is permanently brain damaged. He cannot cook. He cannot um, bathe himself. He cannot use the restroom himself. On Wednesday, Clark's attorney, Sarah Schilke, announced a $7 million settlement had been reached in Clark's federal civil rights lawsuit against Idaho Springs PD, two of its officers, and a corporal. A settlement like this doesn't happen unless things get really bad and get quite bad they did. The lawsuit alleged Clark was wrongfully assaulted after officers were shown on body camera tasing the 75-year-old man and then dragging him into the hallway. Officers were first called on May 30th, 2021, after receiving a complaint that a man had punched a woman in the face. When officers arrived, Clark answered the door with a collectible sword, but put it away when asked by police. He also denied involvement. Clark was never charged with any crime. These officers did not have the training nor any interest in de-escalating this encounter. The city of Idaho Springs issued a statement saying the settlement didn't represent admission of liability, but instead was a matter of economic reasons and to bring closure to all involved. Clark's attorney pushed back. This is very much the culture at the Idaho Springs Police Department. Shilke saying she found repeat patterns during the discovery process of the lawsuit. Hanning in his deposition described having seen his fellow officers tase people in the back or just walking away. Clark's lawsuit alleged a series of medical complications as a result of his encounter with Idaho Springs Police to include a stroke and a burst appendix. Family members say later Clark also suffered from a brain bleed and now the settlement will be used for future medical bills. It doesn't bring him back to who he was and how he used to live. A future loved ones say is uncertain. We don't know how much more time we will be able to spend with our father. CB Cotton, Denver 7.